Shawnee State Park, Shellsburg, Pennsylvania. That's where we're at right now. It is a large spread out state park, a Pennsylvania State Park. Let's go check it out. We came in that way and here is where you get ice and firewood. Looks like a thunder system for ice and firewood recycle, and everything. Recyclables. And then right here is the... Double dumper? Double dumper. <clears throat> so this is another big park with a variety of um, amenities here. <laughs> So we are going to do our best to just show you, but it's going to be probably a drive-through. And this first part will be pretty easy because it's just, um, it's like two, four, five. You can see them on both sides. So this is loop A. We're going to keep going forward. And some of these loops are pet loops and some are not. Yes. And that loop. one has a doggy on it. So you see a lot of these are primitive over here. Site two, there's electric. Uh, some, well, some loops have water. Some loops you have to bring your own water. Site 9 to the right. So these are tent sites along here. 10. We have a picnic table and a fire ring. 11. There's nothing on the left. So tenters, take your pick. There are lots and lots and lots of primitive sites here. And then there are some 30 amp sites and there are some 30, 50 amp sites. And there are some with hookups, with full hookups, sewer, and water, and water. according to the legend. Okay, here we come to a, another section. <laughs> I want to go into B section. I'm turning right onto the gravel, I'm turning right. <laughs> this is B section. Uh, we're just going to, uh, what do you want to do, the outside loop or the inside loop? Well, they, all look... they all look pretty much the same. This is uh, just an overview here. And you can see our site. Yeah, we're site 309. Which was not, it took a little bit to get level here and we're still not sure about it. Yeah, it's a gravel site. Oh, we are right there. Full hookups, water, sewer, and electric. There's 311, that's an empty site. And there's a couple sites over there, back end sites. And there's some paved sites right here to the left and a bathhouse to the left. And there's a trail up here. So we're kind of facing the wrong way for the, the numbers. Right there to the left we have 315 we just passed. 316 and so on and then coming this way and we're going to continue this way past 317 318 319 this is going to take us to oh, we just passed a trail it's a lost antler trail it's about a mile it's a beautiful little walk in the woods nice wide path and here we're just coming around here and going to the next section so you can see the pull throughs up there. You can see rough road that Gray's excursion. And here's a bathroom here. So mostly pull throughs up here. It's a couple of back ends, full hookups. Full hookups. Mm -hmm. That's a full hookup loop. And we're going to head to the right and go to the next section. Get back on the pavement. Starting with 28 and so on. There's nothing on our right. But you've got these nice tent sites here to the left. 31 on the left. Mm -hmm. 30. And here's some, now there's some on the right. Right there. If you wonder what some of the primitive sites look like. 32, 33. We're going to keep going around. around. Well, here is um, sea sites. 150, okay. Through 162 in an outdoor program site, yeah. there's 150. Yeah, so these are more primitive sites, but we're just going to go down here and check it out. Maybe not uh, just give you an overview as if you were driving down the road. There's a bathhouse up to our left. And there's 152 and 155. So it's one of those loopy maps, and it's got uh, the loops adjoined to other loops. So bear with us, we're trying to figure it out here. 154, there's 158, outdoor program site right 
grassy area. That's a nice grassy area. So there's some electric sites here we're just passing. They're kind of tucked up in there on the left. Just throw caution to the wind. I don't even know where we are now. That's D, 163. D, 163 to 200. I don't think we got all of C, but let's see. Let's look at D. We'll catch C on the way out. 164, 166. Yeah. 168 and a water thing. Yeah, water these spigot. these sites are there some well they're a mix I guess of primitive and of outdoor program site electric. It's a paved road here. Mm -hmm. Bath house over there. Oh, well, we got another fork in the road. And here's F. So we're gonna go ahead and check out 215 to 254. I think these might be tent sites too. Let's see. F has. F loop. This is not a dog friendly loop. It's a mix of electric and tent sites. 217. There's 218. Don't look here if you have a pup. So far, I'm only seeing primitive. And we're going uphill. 220. Uh, boy, we got 222 on the right, 223 over on the left. Now when we get up here, there is a little loop 224, that, 225. That'll have some electric. Now the water spigot. 226, so. 226 if you want to be by the water. Spigot. Yes. <laughs> I think this is another one of those parks that is more uh, primitive than electric. Yeah. Right. This, I think, is the electric part. Just, yeah, go straight. Okay. So here. There's a meter. Here's some. Electric. Electric, I don't see water. 229. That is 231 right there. There's some folks on our left, but look at these beautiful woods right there. It's nice. 233 electric. Yeah. Definitely a little quiet area up in here. There's like a little field in the middle. It's got 234. Yeah. Again, though, I don't see any water, so these look like electric only. Are they 30 amp only? They could be. This is, well, it's a mix, but no dogs here. And there is the bathhouse. house. It's like an ADA site there, maybe. I don't know. There's water spigot there. Yep, yep. 220. So it's 242, I think it was. Yeah. Primitive sites. 243, 246 is electric in the middle. 248. Yep. 250 in the middle. Yep. So there you go. This little area right here. This is F. 252 in the middle. It's a little blurry. Sorry about that. All right. But check out this beautiful road to wind back down. out. Yeah, it's a nice road. Another bathhouse there. And a message board. This is Thursday. All right, and so here are more D sites in your cottage. I guess we'll go down to the, on the gravel. Mm. So there's a yurt and a cabin. And there's um, somebody staying down there, so we'll just whip around. We just wanted to show you that, what it looks like. It's 186, so pull around. Yep. Yeah, pull through. Pull through. 186 right there. 197 looks like a power box. Yep, so just when you go to reserve, check the site because there is a mix. There is a big mix of sites here. Right, and they're all mixed in. So, and the the 30 amp and the 50 amp are very similar in the key, so just a glance down is kind of hard <laughs> to catch them all. All right, 197 one, where that red truck is. Yeah, on the right-hand side. I think we're coming back out. It looks like are these more pull-throughs or are these back ends? Oh, we already came that way. There yep. we go. Go to the right. It's 52, we're back into dog friendly area. 
54. 55. 55 is a primitive. G is another pet area, and somewhere here there's supposed to be a pet walking area. So this is G. It is pet friendly, and it looks like it has a couple of, uh, well, it has a great gathering, friends and family sites. Sites 301, 302. Oh, that's our, the family gathering. So what's up with that one? There's people here, so we're not going there. Like they're having a gathering. Yeah. We'll keep going this way. Three hundreds. Oh my goodness, oh, there's a bathroom over there. Okay. And then we just keep going. Wow, this is really uh, rustic here. Oh, there's a big dip. We got a big trench here. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So, another big trench. This is G. It is a combination of primitive and electric yeah, size. I don't think you want to drive your motor on back up in here. Yeah, smaller vehicles perhaps. Well, probably some people might. There's a big dip there yeah. too. Oh wait, does it go on? Narrow road. I don't know if we want to keep going that way. <laughs> yeah, there was a road there uh, that goes to Tinsley. Electric. Yeah. Electric site. So if you want to brave this one, come on up. Yeah. There are some electric here. There's one there. 277, yeah. Yeah. I don't know about this this area. G, forewarned. G's a little rustic. There's 266. That's where we're getting out of this area. 65. Yeah. Oh, and then you want to go that way. And there's the family area up that way. But we're not going that way. All right. What have we not done? <laughs> this is what I'm probably going to have to go back and watch to see if we got everything. But our goal here at this large park is to show the campground. And so you can see some of these places. Get a gist get for the area. The loops. Yeah. So things to pay attention to. The amenities offered. If you have a pet, is it pet friendly? If you don't want to be around pets and you want to go to those uh, non-pet areas. And uh, there were pictures. So you can look at, I do, right? did this one have pictures? I think it might have. And this brings us back to the beginning. And that is a good look at the campground and what you can expect if you stay here at Shawnee State Park Campground. Now, what else is here? Well, there's it's a big park. Come in right there. Right there. And there is an interpretive center and uh, for purpose. It's so where we checked in, but we didn't have to. They said, if you know your site, just go ahead to your site. Picnic area is to the right. Yep. So we're going to go to the right. There are a lot of trails here. Well, there are several trails. But they're, um, they're not, and there's only one accessible from the campground. The Los Angeles Trail. What's our elevation here? I think it was 1,300 feet. And there are mountains around. There's oh. volleyball. There's a bathroom to the right. Pavilion. Pavilion to the left and volleyball and picnic areas. Picnic areas. areas. So we're seeing this first time right along with you guys. We are uh, closing in. We're trying to get to uh, Cummings Place to get our generator fixed. So we've been two days, one day, three days. Here and there. Kind of doing a little car copy. Yeah, a little bit faster, say. faster pace than we're used to. <laughs> so it's like check in, hurry and do the drive about. Pack up. Pack up. Go to the next park. That's okay. We're taking notes for where we want to come back to when we have more time. 
Oh, there is hunting allowed here, just FYI. And yeah, there's a section of the lake that's set out for waterfowl yeah. and some other stuff that's on some of that. So if you go down that road just a little bit, the lake is just beyond that. Nice scenic area to, to see the lake. And we do have an overlook coming up, or did we pass it? Scenic view. So we pull to the scenic overlook, and there's the lake. This is the first glimpse we've got of the lake. It's really pretty. And I think the Shawnee Trail goes right by here. Oh, no, the Lakeshore Trail. There is a Lakeshore Trail. The Shawnee Trail is back up just a little bit. So there you go. The Lakeshore Trail is right down down there. So if you switch back to get down there. Wow, it looks, looks like a gravel trail. So there you go. It's a lake. Look how beautiful. Check it out. Lake Shawnee. It's on both sides. But check it out. You have picnic tables, beautiful waters, sailboat out there, trees. A lot to see here at the state park. Looks like rentals over there. I know there's a swim beach over there. Looks like rentals. Get over the bridge. Cattle boats. There's a boat ramp. There's a field trail to the left. We try to catch that on the way back. Beautiful. Boat ramp. It's another picnic area and beach. So beach is straight ahead. And a lakeshore trail. This is a beautiful day to be at the beach, but it is not convenient to the campground, is it? No. <laughs> you got uh, little paddle boats, too. Yeah. Is it? Fishing there. Yeah, maybe on the weekends. Uh, some of this is available. It's okay. And there's an electric charging port. Yeah. For your, for your electric car. Yeah. Oh, and I see Frisbee disc golf up there. Disc golf? Yep, there's a the disc golf course. No tables. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff here at Shawnee State Park. We'll go see what's up here to the right. So there is a trail off that way called the Field Trail. Oh, we're still driving down this road. Okay, a sign. Area, another picnic area, another beach area. And oh, there's beach parking. Okay. There's a beach. Alright. So here you can drive down and park at the beach if you have a if you have an ADA sticker. Right. And you have the playground there. Yeah, playground, big building. Otherwise you have this lovely walk. Area. Yeah, pavilion. there's a pavilion coming up here, but there's some folks out at a bathroom. And there's another beach right up here, picnic area beach. The East Beach. So a lot of options here for the beach. Picnic area up there and a bathroom it looks like. Nice up that hill. Ooh, get the view from this one. Oh, this looks like the beach I'd come to. Yes, we make a loft here. So we go left on 30. 
and then left on 96 to go to the next part of the park. Just past a subway, soft serve ice cream, there's a Shawnee Motel, here is a Dollar General. Shawnee Market, one of the stores. Well, that was our little tour of uh, Shawnee State Park. Is that how you say that? Sw Shawnee? Shawnee. Shawnee That's State how... Park, Shellsburg, Pennsylvania. Now, we had a 50 amp service. The sites was not level. It wasn't bad, but be prepared to level. It was a pull through. Yes. And we did have full hookups. Uh, that was 50 sewer. amp sewer. sewer, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we, were, we were good to go there in water, so got caught up on laundry. It's always a good thing. Bonus. The park has a, uh, well, you can fish there, you can boat there, there's trails there, there's disc golf there. It's spread out though. It is spread out, and there's only uh, really one trail from the park, that antler trail. Yeah, Lost Antler Trail. It's about a mile, and it's, it's nice. It goes downhill, and you're in the wooded area, and it's nice and wide when you come back up to the right. campground. There is a lake there, but the beaches you do have to drive to. To get to the beaches. Mm -hmm. uh, same with if you want to launch your boat, um, fish, kayak. Or the hike the other trails. Or hike the other trails. Right. Pretty much a campground is just a campground in that lost antler trail. And uh, of course, there's a playground there. I don't know where the, I think there's disc golf, but I'm not sure where that is. I think it was over around the day use area. Now, there are different loops, and all the different loops are different loops. Some loops you're allowed to have pets on, some loops you're not allowed to have pets on and I read signs that said maximum two pets per site right just just be aware that you are now in the land of not every campsite will allow pets yeah and so, not every loop and not every loop so don't be so check that pet friendly mm -hmm. option when you're filtering right so you get on the right loop mm -hmm. all right and not every site has full hookups they have a variety of site options, so also check what you want. We were in the B loop, yeah. but again, check your filters when you do it. Make sure you get the site that you want. B loop's a more open loop, too. Yeah, it has some pull throughs, but it has full hookups. Right. Like I said, the park is very, I don't know, it's kind of mishmash. You got <laughs> this, you got six loops, but you got 30 amp, 50 amp, you got pets, you got no pets, different variety of size sites, different varying degrees of levelness uh, varying uh, degrees of space at sites yes. some were close some were further apart as you saw when we went around and we weren't able to show you every single site because it, it is a large park yeah but overall it's not a bad park it's a nice park right and the space was adequate yeah. the space was adequate I'm you know you know even even though where we were uh, we were pulled through so we were kind of lined up there but we had plenty of room and our neighbors had plenty of room so you're not far from the city of Shellsburg, so if you need stuff, you can just scoot on up to Shellsburg and uh, get whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. It was it was just a couple day stay yeah. for us. Uh, we were booking it to north of Pittsburgh, so we were, it was kind of in our path, and we said, "Hey, let's check it out." It has trails. We did go on another trail, the Colvin Trail. <laughs> it's supposed to be a quarter mile. <laughs> Says on the map, quarter mile. We had a nice it's not a quarter mile we had a nice mile and a half hike yeah and it was beautiful but there was a covered bridge if we'd have just went ahead and went around the road but we, we didn't think know. there was a covered bridge it on the map there's a covered yeah on the map bridge. on the map it also said it was a quarter mile loop to a covered bridge <laughs> but no it wasn't there's no way that could have been a quarter mile so our experience with the trails there the antler trail was fine 
<laughs> the Colvin Trail, and it, there's other trails there. So. Now you could ride an e-bike on that trail, it'd be fine, because part of that trail is really wide, mm -hmm. and you go to a road, and you do on the road, then you come back, the other side is really wide and grassy. Yeah, it was muddy though in some areas. Some areas pretty, had a little stand in the water, but yeah. you know, you could get through it fine. So if you wanted to ride an e-bike or a bike, you could. And the parking place across from the Col Colvin Trail, is uh, you can put your kayak in there. There's boat ramp yeah, and all. Yeah, it's a boat so. ramp, part of the lake there. Yeah, so. so there's a lot to do there. We were only there a couple of days, so we didn't get to explore a whole, whole lot, but we just wanted to share with you what we saw and our little drive about. There we go. So let us know if you've ever been there. Have you ever stayed at Shawnee State Park? Shellsburg, Pennsylvania. How'd you like it? Well, with that being said, I think we're gonna sign off on this one. Uh, click like and subscribe as always. Follow so, us on our journey. We like looking at freedom. Gary and Sharon, Rough Road RV Life. Take care. See you down the road. Happy travels. <laughs> car lights yeah, are, the car lights are working. Yeah, I can see the brake lights on both sides. Yeah. I was checking when I could talk. 1,000 feet. We're on the campground road.